Number three is good to go. That one was pretty straightforward. Number four, included number four here because not every problem factor in a problem is straightforward. The front term here was a perfect square. Square root of 9x squared would be 3x. But the final term, 8, 8 is not a perfect square. 8 is somewhere, but the square root of 8 is somewhere between 2 and 3. Because 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9. Um, and because 8 is neither 9 or 4, we can't use the shortcut we've been doing all along. So here, I'm hoping that you still factored this, uh, but you factored it using a generic rectangle and a diamond and get this for your answer. So again, not a perfect square. 3x plus 4 is not being squared. 3x plus 2 is not being squared. They're simply a binomial multiplied to a different binomial. These are your two factors. All right, this one was a perfect square too. So was this one. This one was kind of interesting. Here, you could have factored it two different ways. All these things actually could be factored, or at least the negative ones could be factored um, in more than one way. Um, this one here, I just want to, I'm not going to spend much time on this one. Um, but I wanted to point out that you could have reordered this into what's called standard form. So remember, a quadratic has a standard form. And a quadratic, remember a quadratic is uh, that the highest degree of a term in the polynomial is 2. So y is being squared here. So this here, the top one, the way it was written earlier, was not written in standard form. In standard form for a quadratic, it needs to be written in the order of highest exponent to lowest exponent. So y squared, following by the term with just y, following by the term, that's just the constant here, just as a number we see it. So if you notice here, we could have factored this top one if we just follow the rule, square root of one would be one, and then we had a negative b value. So let's make this negative, the negative square root of 36y squared would be negative 6y. And that actually would be the same exact thing as if we had factored it in standard form. Square root of 36y squared is 6y. Square root of 1 is 1, but our b term is negative. Let's make it negative 1. We could prove this. We could uh, actually put both these into a generic rectangle, and we would return the same answer. And uh, I just wanted to point that out. You need more than one way to factor these things. Bottom ones here. I'm going to spend no time on these ones just because I think this wrap up of this video has been a little bit long enough here, but these last ones here were not perfect squares. They were something different. So I'm going to let you look at them and let you think about them. And then in video number three, coming up next, we're going to be talking about these and how to factor them and what you need to keep in mind and how you can use another shortcut. And we're talking about why these are special right here. These are called difference of square is the special type that we have down here. These are not perfect squares, they are difference of squares because we have a, a subtraction sign of the per between the perfect squares. x squared minus a perfect square here, 25, and y squared minus another perfect square here, 1. So difference of square are these quadratics. And it's coming up next, so watch the final video and you'll learn uh, the final shortcut. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.